Hello everyone, it's Lady Catastrophe, and welcome to another chapter of Sable. I think last time we finally made it to Burnt Oak Station after exploring the tower not far from where we originally started out. So I think what I have to do now are a couple of quests that I picked up from Burnt Oak Station. Larval husks. From the beetle's nest near camp. So let's see. Nope, that's not what I want. Is that it? Maybe. That's probably where the main quest is. Go there. I need to remember. Oh, it's like I need to remember where I put my glider at, but found it. Disposal? That doesn't sound good. They might have stuff here. Stuff that I can use. I kind of want to go up there, though. I'm curious. Take a breather, girl. Maybe what I should have done is jumped and then tried grabbing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Give her a second to breathe. And we'll try again. Come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, dang it. Hmm, I don't think there's a way up there without more stamina. I thought maybe this side was taller than that one, but I guess not. Oh, but I bet I could climb this. There we go. Use the smarticle particles. Oh. Uh, I don't remember how to... How to... Crouch. Hmm. I do not know how to get in there. Nope, that is sitting. I got excited for nothing. <gasps> oh, okay. What? Ooh. Something goes right there.
Oh, look, something. Scrap metal. <gasps> I dropped it. Oops. Oh. another one. Uh, I guess you go right there. Oh. It opened the door. And exits. That's great, but I don't need that right now. Fascinated by this place. There's so. Like, what's this ship's story? What did it used to do? This goes here. Yeah. Okay. But what about the one over there? Maybe I'll find it? It's glass. There we go. Figured that out. More scrap metal to bring to that junker person. Awesome. What does this do? Ooh. All right, we're doing things. We're making things happen. Awesome. That was poorly thought out on my part. Okay. I need to go back up. More scrap metal. Awesome. don't have anything to put there. <gasps> oh, hey, one of those, like, egg things? <laughs> Chum eggs. Eventually, I'll find where these are supposed to go. I have four of them now. Thought I saw a piece of scrap somewhere close. I certainly did. Hmm. So, I guess what I need to do is oh, reuse this little battery thing. Cool. 
And we can talk to it. I encounter a strange luminous figure. It greets me before I even have a chance to be frightened. Saren. New user found. Hello, please enter your new username. I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth, like this is the first time I've said it aloud. I get what she's talking about. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. I asked the mysterious figure about themselves. I am the ship's simulated anthropomorphic registry and informational nexus, but you can call me Saren. Perfect. I ask Saren what they are doing here. I am not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. I'm attempting access ship records. Saren goes still for a moment. Transferring ship's log to your inbox. You have unread messages, Sable. Okay. Recording. The panel blinks to life. Strange markings and symbols I assume to be ancient text spill across the screen as the background colors flash wildly, and then with the strange buzzing like old fabrics pulling apart their voices. Within long-range sensors, Captain, we're picking up some anomalous readings from the upper atmosphere. Could be a plasma storm, but the radiation signature doesn't quite match. Hmm, maintain approach at current speed. What's our time to destination? 46 Earth hours, give or take. Good, let's keep an eye on those energy signatures and get Saren in on it too for pattern recognition. Captain, we need to purge our reactor soon. If we don't, I know. I'm, I'm aware of the risks, Ellis, but I'm not purging in the middle of space. We follow the protocol and the recording fails and the static continues. A few button pushes bring silence and a screen that looks navigable in some way, but, at that, but I can't decipher anything. No unread messages. Archive the messages. Uh, well, that's it. I, ooh, historical recogn uh, recognition. I think that's what it said. That's cool. We explore all these little spaceships that have just been abandoned. I'm gonna get cool little... What was that? Cool little things like that. though how oh that's I fell pretty far down I wonder if I could climb up to that last level up there if I jump off the platform Oh, she doesn't... she doesn't climb it. I feel like I am missing something, though. Hmm. I mean, I think I've gone through every door. Maybe... Maybe not this one? No, been through this one. Definitely more up there. I just don't know how to get all the way up there. Oh. 
think I see what I need to do. back and then maybe hitch a ride of a hundred cuts made from metal harvested from crash ships they have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid for easy and convenient transportation well there we go and whoa more scrap metal awesome i think that is everything Fun. Got to explore something new. That looks interesting. Angler hut. More than once, Simone has slowed over a dune without my asking, or taken an unexpected but gentle curve around an invisible something. And I've wondered if she's drawing from a memory of a time before. But lately I've wondered if she's tuning into another, different flow altogether. The movements of fish as they swim beneath the sands. I approach the angler with this in mind and think how interesting it must be to find one's calling in fishing. And reaching out for things one cannot see might even teach me some patience. Angler Yoshi. Hello there, Glider. What can I do for you? What do I want to talk about? I'd like to learn to fish. The Angler nods. Fancy the Angler mask, eh? Hope you're more patient than some of these gliders. I'm very patient. I'm certain he smirks. Look, I've mastered Stardew Valley fishing, so I'm very patient. Hmm, well either way, the first thing you'll need is a fishing rod, and I'll give you one of my old ones, good for a trainee. Take this, you can use this to cast off anywhere you can find some sand. Anywhere, anywhere. Whether you get a bite or not will be another matter, but that's the trick of being an angler, feeling it out. I nod. So if you want to earn the mask, that's how you do it. I'm not here to waste your time if you're not here to waste mine. For your first badge, all I'll need to see is some fish from right here in Sansi. Bring me a bellow guppy, a pebble eye, and a pillfish, and we're good. And remember, every species has its own habitat, so you'll have to search around to find where they live. But word to the wise, a lot of fish survive by nibbling on the roots of plants. That should give you a place to start. I thank him and depart. Good luck out there. Oh. I, do I even... Do I even have any plants to be able to do that? And you're just... Out here... Fishing. I wanted to see if there was anything I could possibly acquire.
That is definitely going to take some getting used to. I don't have to fight anything because I don't have any weapons. The goal is just to get some husks. Sorry if you see me constantly running into a wall or a door. I could go in there. I mean, is that a husk? Ooh! Oh my god. That scared me. That's just a notification for an achievement. That's all it is. And I got freaked out. Another chum egg thing. Come on. Climb up, climb up, climb up. Okay, there we go. I hope I find out what to do with these things soon. The goal is to get to the top. The goal is to find three husks.
Oh, this side's empty. So I think I found a way in. Husk die. Awesome. Another chum egg. Nice. That's it, no. I'm just gonna have to keep trying each side until I find a tunnel that's empty. And leads all the way to the middle. Or at least has a husk in it. Well, I can't get in there. Did it move, maybe? Oh? I am slightly terrified. What? An old worn out notepad by the tent. After all my journeying, my path inside the nest is blocked. The Hercules beetle, she blocks the way and refuses to move. At my, I'm at my wit's end. The creature sleeps and sleeps and will not move. I have tried attacking the beast, but its shell is hard as metal, and she does not even not acknowledge me. And there are further notes. There is an unusual plant that has overgrown the tower across the nest. plan to investigate this, the smaller beetles seem attracted to the plants. The climb was extremely troubling. If only I had my old gliding stone still. Nevertheless, I made it. Holding the fruit that grows on the giant plant seems to agitate it and emit a harmless gas of some kind. Beetles seem to gather around as they do so. I will test my theory with the mother. Oh? So that's what I need to do. to get to the top. It just seems to be something I have to do for every part of this game. Get to the top. from the inside. <laughs> Ew. 
very difficult. <gasps> oh god! I don't wanna fall. There's something I want to do first. Can I even... I want to get in there. Oh. There was nothing in there. Still, it didn't hurt to look. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't need to drop it. Okay, well, I have the thing now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't go back in. What am I, what am I supposed, nope, come on. Where the heck am I supposed to make it go? right thing, but I guess I'll just play it that way. This is what we're doing. That's not ominous at all. So we found one. The others are probably up there. Somewhere. Even. There we go. One more. There we go. Now I can go back to Aoife. Oh, and look, I don't even have to go back out the tunnel. I can just get out from the top and then glide my way down. But I did it. I got the three larval, hu larval, larva husks. That was cool. Now to figure out where I put. Bye. 
spider. Let's see. She's that way. To head back to Burnt Oak Station. Ooh. Thought I was gonna go through that plant. <laughs> I guess not. I do have some scrap metal to give uh, the junker. More bits from that, so that's awesome. Somebody's child is running around. Oops. Uh, you know, that's good. I am trying to remember where Eva is. Yep, there we go. wasn't the end of it because now I have to take the husks and deliver them to Ian but I think I'm gonna call it here for now Make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch to see when I go live. This is Lady Catastrophe signing off.